I understand everyone's frustration. I understand everyone's fear and everyone's concern. And the feeling of fear, I can't even imagine the fear of the families that were there last night with their small children and their loved ones. I have grandchildren. I know how I would have felt if I'd have been there. I'm sure it was a terrifying experience. Uh, the peace of not looking over our shoulder at a place where you take your children and your families for entertainment and enjoyment was shattered last night. You're worried and you should have a right, to, you all have a right to be. I understand that completely. It's a shame that we're going to have to do this, uh, but I think it's time to step up as a city. Uh, the city council tonight, I'm sure they'll step up, will be asked to increase the uh, overtime uh, line and uh, budget for the Conway Police Department. This will allow an increase of uh, overfunding in their, in their, uh, their line item, but it will also allow us to have an indefinite police presence at our parks during games and tournaments going forward. And even though the council will not vote on this until uh, a little bit after 6 p.m. tonight, uh, we are going to go ahead and have our added police presence out there tonight. So it starts tonight. So I want folks to, uh, to feel safe. Again, I want to thank the Conway Police Department, the Arkansas State Police, and the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office for your rapid response, not only to that event, to working every day to keep the people of this city and this county safe. I think, I think our hats are off to you for the job that you do. With that being said, I'll take questions. Like I said, it's very early in the investigation. Uh, I, I, I stay out of the police chief's way. I do not get involved in police matters, so when he comes to a conclusion, he'll let me know, and I'll let the council know, and then we'll let everyone else know. I have one. Yes, sir. Uh, for the sake of the folks of the oh. live stream, this is Bobby Kelly speaking hey, Bobby. from the mayor's office. For the folks of the who are watching the live stream, um, we started a little bit before that started, but can you re recap that first paragraph that you said? Okay, sure. Uh, of course, this is what Chief Tapley gave me. Uh, last night, 911 received reports of shots fired at the Don Owens complex. Conway PD, the Arkansas State Police, and the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office responded. Upon arrival, it was determined disturbance between individuals on the upper parking lot near the Owens complex had taken place. Uh, the individ individuals involved had left the scene at that time. And they must have got gone pretty quick because the uh, response time was uh, under two minutes and 30 seconds from what I understand. Any questions? It's very early in the investigation. Uh, Chief does not uh, release that information to me, and I'll tell you why. This is uh, something I started a long time ago. Uh, I say a long time ago when, when I first became mayor, is I do not ask the chief for any information on ongoing investigations because, as we all know, social media, a lot of things are put out. And I do not want ever have someone say, well, the mayor said this or the mayor leaked this. So quite honestly, I do not ask the chief for for ongoing uh, investigation details. Uh, that is unknown at this time by me. I, I think I know. I don't think there's any danger to the public right now. I think this was a, the. I think this event was between those individuals. It was tragic at the place that they pulled this stunt. And I'm really holding back to what I really think of those individuals. But uh, no, I think it was it was just between this group of individuals. Yeah, well, and you know, it's, it's cliche right now to say, well, it's the way of the world. Uh, unfortunately, that is the truth. And this is something that, that we're seeing a lot, but in order for our, our parks are one of our greatest assets in the city of Conway. People come from all over to come to our parks and people have to feel safe there. And the council understands that and the police chief and his officers understand that. And so does our parks director. And uh, we're gonna do whatever it takes moving forward to, to allow people to come and enjoy our parks without having to be worried or afraid. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Sir, you said there'd be an increased presence tonight uh, with police officers there at the park. Will that continue throughout the week at the ball games and other activities? Yes, it's, we're going to do this indefinitely. 
And uh, sidebar, the last time we had to have police officer presence at uh, youth baseball games in Conway was because of parents. Uh, and so we took a zero tolerance policy on that. If you said anything ugly to a child or an umpire, you went to jail. That could be another downside to this. If you, uh, if you, uh, if you say anything bad to a child out there, call a child name, I'm gonna say that police officer will probably get you too. Anything else? Again, thank you all uh, for being here and uh, we'll let the professionals do their job and I'm, they'll get this handled. Thank you. I'm sorry, uh, the park director's here. Do y'all have anything you'd like to ask him? He's got a prepared statement team. I'm sorry, Andrew. Uh, I'll make this brief. Uh, my name's Andrew Thames. I'm the director of Parks and Rec here um, in Conway. The first thing I wanna do is thank um, Conway police for their swift action last night, their response time, um, ensuring the safety of everybody out at the Don Owen complex. Also, their response to an indefinite president in our sports complexes. Uh, a lot of time, effort, and money have been put into the parks here in Conway, and we want to ensure the safety of our, our citizens, regardless of if you're at Don Owens, Laurel, Gatling, uh, wherever we would like you to enjoy our facilities and feel safe in your home. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you're more than welcome to go to conwayparks.com. Um, contact us there, and, and we're happy to respond um, with any of your needs. Um, or wants. So thank you for joining us today.